because oh my goodness like parting ways with the situation ship is the most difficult thing to do mainly because of the ecstasy and infatuation that you have at first with them and you just it's as good as being on drugs but sometimes you have to do it if it doesn't work out don't waste your time on someone who's not willing to change emotional unavailability exactly what i wanted to talk about exactly what i've been going through and exactly what i've been dealing with and i've dissected i've read a few studies a few psychological studies as well and mental analysis and i realized that it all comes down to various reasons including the fact that it's just a self-defense coping mechanism also in many cases it's simply the result of having an avoidant attachment style or simply a temporary phase after you've been going through a breakup feeling betrayed or simply no wanting to commit or my favorite one not committing because there might be a better option out there and you just don't want to give it all to just one person just in case because you never know however you know that someone is emotionally unavailable through various little reasons that you find them across the way or the more you talk to someone and the main one is because they act hot and cold similarly to the way the manipulator coquette would do in the book the art of seduction and they also fail to communicate effectively and clearly and consistently throughout the time on a constant level one thing is that they also find it difficult to dive deep into like these really deep topics of philosophy and all of these topics but bear in mind i actually used to talk to this person he was my friend and when we were in a friend's group he would always discuss everything he would always dive deep into all of these really weird topics of philosophy and history and politics and spirituality even but he was never able to relate all of those topics and everything he was saying to his own personal experience which made him seem to me a bit artificial a bit empty a bit vain a bit whatever really smart academically really professional but he just didn't have that hint of being able to make me relate to him on an emotional level. And I'm realizing that people do that in romantic relationships as well. One more thing is that they're not able to discuss anything with you clearly. And they also give mixed signals without coherent and valid reason. Of course, one more thing and one last sign that someone is emotion available. It's actually something that I've experienced when I was in that phase. And I realized that actually I really, really, really disliked labels and just bring labels on things and I had this and I had this mentality that it would kind of ruin things and you would add commitment to something that I didn't want commitment when in fact all I could have just done is tell someone that I just wanted a fling and honestly I just didn't want to give somebody a reason to be mad at me when they were not being given the commitment that I was not willing to give and lastly one more thing that I was actually finding it difficult to share was my emotions and also identifying what emotions i felt to someone else like i knew what i was feeling i knew who i was i knew myself but i just couldn't share myself to someone else in order to work with this and make someone just like obsessed with you and actually want to be committed to you or for you to work on it all you have to do is just say one little sentence directly and possibly passive aggressively or just aggressively and directly just go for the full front attack like we're doing chess you can say something along the lines of you speak in general terms and you engage in our conversation but i still feel like i do not know you you can feel safe with me and express yourself or we can just part ways and honestly this is the most difficult part to do but when you actually search for a meaningful relationship with somebody parting ways is what you have to do if you're not being given the same reciprocity and bear in mind Reciprocity is the number one factor that I believe is the most important when it comes to romantic relationships and attachment and I studied this in psychology and there was always like something going against it and arguing that no, this is not the most important thing but personally I think reciprocity is the most important thing that we can have, give and receive when it comes to our special partner because oh my goodness, like parting ways with the situation ship is the most difficult thing to do mainly because of the ecstasy and infatuation that you have at first with them and you just it's as good as being on drugs but sometimes you have to do it if it doesn't work out don't waste your time on someone who is not willing to change and unless they say actively that they need your help and they want to change then you are not really responsible for helping somebody to change or to grow because we're adults right even if we're not adults we're still not responsible for other people's well-being 
In spirituality, the best thing to do is simply part ways and let people do their own thing. Because the person that you deserve will come your way. But if the same thing happens again and again and you keep meeting people who are emotionally available, that happens for a reason. And there is a lesson for you to learn because you either learn from your mistakes and from the events that occur in your life or it repeats itself. All you have to do is just not stress and trust that everything is being made according to a higher plan and a greater design made for you especially. Thank you for watching and I hope this was a comfort kind of video because I didn't really go into like actual step by step plan on how to deal with these things but it's the most difficult thing to deal with sometimes and I'm only talking about it because I've been dealing with it recently and I'm realizing how important it is and yeah that's it. Easy to say even more difficult to face.